Hi. Today I will speak about tripod because if you are a photographer, you need a tripod. There are a lot of different tripod. Don't ask me why I love Manfrotto. I don't know because I try it and I stay with Manfrotto. Uh, I try some other brands, but I was never happy like my Manfrotto tripod. I will show you. Okay. First, if you need a big uh, Manfrotto tripod, I like very much this one. It's a 190X. It's very uh, big, it's very tall, and uh, I put on this tripod the wrong head because with a, a ball head it's very very difficult with a large uh, zoom like this to have a very good uh, stabilization you have to find a lot your uh, the direction what you want to to photography and this one is a lot better for that because this one is very easy because you have uh, three way to move it like this when you close one it's done and you have only to do the two others then this one is a lot better <coughs> for me today with the size and the width of the camera if you have a Nikon D50 or something like this buy this one because this one is high is very safe is for me the best uh, in the reasonable because uh, of course you can be not reasonable and buy for 1000 a tripod this one you will pay it uh, uh, 200 dollars on uh, amazon or ebay used and i don't see the purpose to buy new a tripod because they are no mechanics they are nothing uh, wrong with that i prefer the series now this type the 290 mt 294A3 this one why because you have two very um, very uh, how you can say that comfortable grip it go very high too huh, because you will still have all this and my favorite today is this uh, if I use uh, camera with long long zoom like uh, the 24 240 from Sony uh, the 100 400 for uh, Leica the 100 400 for uh, from Sigma or from uh, Tamron I think it's perfect now I will show you okay okay I will uh, answer later now I will show you the head okay this is the head I showed you before this one I lost one uh, manivelle I don't know how you call that I call I lost this and this one is the cheaper way on the other one this one you can have it for uh, 70 dollars on ebay normally i never sp uh, speak about price because uh, you have no choice when you want a nice camera you buy a nice camera and you pay the price when you want a nice uh, lens okay you can perhaps if it's a nice lens 
very uh, demanded, uh, you will pay what? 10%, uh, 15% len less than the original price, then I prefer not be greedy and buy uh, the, the new one. Okay. If you are a videographer, same way for this. You can have this one. The first of all, I like the RC2, pl RC2 plates. Then all my uh, tripod and all my uh, head has RC2 plate. It's so convenient. I let the plate on the camera and I don't touch anything. This one is very good. You can have it for, uh, I suppose, uh, 70 to 80 dollars. And this one is a little bit more exp uh, expensive. I didn't see it looks better, but I real, real, uh, I uh, don't see a real difference when I used. Both of them have the, this huh, to to see if you are, uh, and these two are very very good if you do both if you do videography and if you do photography. Okay, that's it for the big uh, tripod. Now I go here and here I have two small tripod. The one, the 200 light is fine because it's light, but even the two second uh, to not have uh, shaky, it's not enough. I have to put 10 seconds on this one. This one, I can do it with two seconds or nothing. It's the same as the other one I like. It's a 290, but instead of 294, it's 293. It's smaller with for a smaller head. Same things, I prefer this one than this one. It's almost the same uh, uh, weight, but this one is a little bit higher, and you see you have all this again, more. And here you can put also two different types of head. Okay, now I will show you the head you can use on uh, the smallest one. Okay, this is the same ball head. If you have a, a regular focal until 75 like this, you can use this one. It's a lot enough, it's convenient, and it's fast to use, it's a ball head. If you want a head who does the both videography and and uh, photography take this one it's very cheap too it costs less uh, than 100 dollars you can find it for 70 dollars this one is very very comfortable because you can uh, put it uh, very easily in your bag uh, this arm flip on this one, like this it's very easy. And it's very easy to have uh, straight, you see, you have three things, and it's very light. My choice is this uh, type of head with this Manfrotto tripod. It will cost you almost probably less than $150, all included. This one, I use it with a small JX85 or JX95. But like I said, it's convenient because it's a little bit smaller, but nothing justify the difference between this one and this one. Okay. Now, 
if you want to have a monopod. A monopod, the best ball head, uh, the best, the best head for no monopod for me. It's again Manfrotto, and it's this one. Two, three, four RC. Be very careful, be, because it's a lot, a lot of fake, like this one on eBay or Amazon. The only difference, if this doesn't exist, it's not a real one. It's very easy. Okay, this is the best you can have for your monopoly. The easiest monopod I found is the A555 from Andoer. Andoer. It's very light, it's very small, it's sturdy enough for all the new uh, my mirrorless, and something very good, you can change it the other way, and like this you have a uh, stick. And the other things very well, you see here, I can put the camera directly on it, or I can uh, remove this and turn this piece, and on the other side you have the bigger screw to put a head. Then that's why I like this one, and it's so cheap, it's... Uh, $30, less than $30 on eBay or Amazon. The Monfrotto one I'm using now with this camera is a lot more money, it's uh, $50, this one. It's lighter but not so sturdy. And if I want, if I want the bigger I have, they are a lot heavier and uh, they cost uh, the double minimum fifty dollars to one hundred dollars okay i'm done today for the monfrotto thank you very much